Hey everyone. So I've been asked by quite a few people, what do you do for your dog? Because we hear you talk about your dog using essential oils. And so I thought I would show you this morning. This is his typical morning setup here. We have, and he's, he's ready and waiting. There we go. <clears throat> we have three quarters of a cup of dry food and I buy the Four Health brand from Tractor Supply. And then he gets one fruit and one veggie juice plus. Uh, then he also gets a scoop of ground flaxseed that I buy from Aldi's. Flaxseed is one of those great things that if you have problems with loose stools, it will um, tighten your stool, and if you have problems with tight stools, it will help loosen. He is got an issue with soft stool, so it helps tighten things up for him. And I have been out, and it's been difficult to find, but um, I normally give him 100% pure pumpkin in here as well, about a tablespoon and a half of it. And then he gets his oils, pretty simple. He gets frankincense. I just open up the bottles, two drops, sometimes three, turmeric. Now frankincense is the king of all oils. It's great for cardiovascular. It's great for pain and inflammation, but when it's put together with other oils, it magnifies the benefits of the other oils by 10. So turmeric is really great for pain and inflammation. He is a Labrakita, so Labrakitas <clears throat> are known for having hip dysplasia because of the lab in them. So hip dysplasia and <clears throat> joint issues. So then he also gets, um, because he got bit by a tick last year, um, so he had a lab test come back saying that he had Lyme disease and um, or he had tested positive for Lyme. They did thorough, more thorough testing and um, he does not have Lyme disease, but um, we do now have to be a little cautious about that. So he also gets two drops of Copaiba and I have the Copaiba because it is more of a sticky, it comes from a tree. Um, it's also great for cardiovascular and joint <clears throat> excuse me, cardiovascular and joints also good for pain. So he gets two drops of this, and because it's sticky, I have it in a dropper bottle. And then he gets the Four Health Grain Free uh, Wet Food as well. So yes, my dog is spoiled. This is a typical breakfast for him. Um, dinner is not quite so complicated. It's just three quarters of a cup of dry food, and then he gets wet food as well. So yes, he is spoiled. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.